fire trucks like this blare their sirens and race to the fire because firefighters know how fast a fire can grow. They also know how fast fire can hurt you. All it takes is one tiny flame and just a few minutes, and this is what can happen. As we've taught you, fire is not only fast, it is hot. It is so hot that in a matter of seconds, it can reach hundreds of degrees. In minutes, thousands of degrees. It can get so hot as the fire grows, all the air can be cut off. And that's why we've taught you that in a fire, get down low. The only oxygen is down below. We've also learned that fire is black. It's not what you're used to seeing on TV. But the flames are only half of the story. Thick black smoke is the real killer. That's right, not the flames. Most people killed in a fire die from inhaling smoke or being overcome by gas. Fire can kill you or somebody you love. And that's why it's so important that you learn all these facts about fire. Here's my dad, Dr. Frank Field, and my brother, Storm Field, to show you that fire is fast. Thanks, Allison. You know, Storm, the one thing that's so amazing about fire is how quickly it can spread. When that smoke detector goes off or someone shouts, fire, we've all been told that we must get out of the burning building right away. That's right. You have to move quickly, and you should know the fastest way to get out of your home. Don't wait for someone to come get you. Now, do you know why? Well, the reason you must move quickly is that fire spreads fast. In minutes, you could be trapped by black smoke and flames. Most people have no idea how fast a fire can spread. They're shocked when it happens to them. The front windows blew out, and it swept that wall of flames right up that hall. It was a matter of seconds, and my kids would have been dead. I smelled smoke. We went back to get the dog and a few valuables, and by the time we went back, it was too late. We couldn't get out. You can't even explain how fast it was. It was like blinking your eyes. Get out as quickly as you can. There is no time. It was terrifying having everything you've ever had gone in one in seconds. You can't wait. You just get out of the house. No one ever explains that to you. That's why it's important to explain. If there's a fire in your home, it's a race between you and the fire. In this fire, a child and two adults died because they lost that race. You must get out quickly. Don't panic. Get down low and go. Know what to do immediately because fire is fast. Fires are so fast, so dangerous, and so explosive that firefighters, with all their training and their protective gear, still face great danger. Whenever they enter burning buildings, they race against time. How fast are fires? Watch. A small fire begins in a wastebasket in just a few seconds. That's all it takes, just a few seconds. The fire leaps and reaches out, setting everything in its path burning. The fire keeps growing rapidly. It's not even a minute. And now, only a trained firefighter can put it out. That's how fast a fire takes hold, in a matter of seconds. And once the fire gains its strength, it races up to the ceiling. Nothing can stand in its way. The walls begin to burn, then the ceiling. It's so hot now in this room that anyone who tries to enter would be killed. And yet, it is still less than a minute. So you see how fast a fire in just seconds can destroy everything in its way. It's hot one minute, the next minute the entire room can burst into flames. If you drop a lit match on, on, a, on a couch or something that is easy to catch on fire, you could have a problem that is well beyond your control in just a few seconds. Fires can spread through a whole house in just a matter of minutes. Most of our homes have many electrical appliances and wiring. Sometimes an accidental spark or a flame from any of these can trigger a fire that races through a building in minutes. In the early morning hours, an electric spark and faulty wiring set off a fast-moving blaze that swept through this house. Everyone was asleep. In a matter of minutes, the inside of the building was filled with choking smoke and fierce flames. Tyler Vale, seven years old, was asleep in a bedroom on the second floor. Downstairs, his mother and baby brother were saved by his father, who tried to rescue Tyler, but he couldn't. The fire was too fast. 
I tried to climb up and I fell and I climbed up again through the side and I fell again. I couldn't get up. The volunteer firefighters who raced to the scene tried desperately to fight their way into the house to put out the fire and save Tyler. But the fire was too fast for them and it was too hot. They couldn't get to the young boy in time. He called all the time to the house. He would say, Graham, I love you. Come pick us up this weekend. Make me pancakes. That was his favorite thing, pancakes and Mickey Mouse pancakes. After the fire was put out, they found Tyler on the floor, right next to his bed. Tyler's story is a sad one, but his story can help teach us a lesson, a lesson that can save our lives. Fire is fast, and it can kill. We see stories like Tyler's almost every night on the news. Tonight, the two-alarm blaze started in the basement, and before it was finally brought under control, two children were dead. Fire broke out around 1.30 this morning in the basement of this two-story home. It quickly spread. This fire spread so quickly, anyone inside one of the homes probably would not be able to get out. As fire completely engulfed the building, the flames quickly spread to two adjacent homes. Three children are dead after a fire raced through their apartment. It's hard to believe how fast a fire can spread. Once a spark or flame sets a fire, it will grow at a scary speed. It begins with a small flame that climbs the curtains, drapes, and wall. Within seconds, fire is enveloping the furniture. The flames sweep up to the ceiling. The heat is so intense, even the ceiling begins to burn as the fire leaps across the room. Everything in its path is aflame. Temperatures reach hundreds of degrees, and smoke, which is incredibly hot at the ceiling, is lowering toward the floor. The oxygen in the room is almost gone. It's only taken a matter of minutes and the room has grown so hot that it explodes. This is all that's left. Fire spreads that fast. And that's why you must have an escape plan and practice drills at home. If a fire happens, you must know what to do immediately. It's smoke detectors that give you the first warning there's a fire. In this building, three children died from smoke inhalation. So the smoke detector would have given a warning maybe to get out, possibly the grandmother get out from the basement out into the side. But there were no smoke detectors in the house, and a father grieves for his lost children. Sometimes there aren't enough smoke detectors in a house, so not everyone gets a warning. That's why smoke detectors are so important to have on all levels of the home. A fire started in the early morning hours in this home and spread rapidly. There was only one smoke detector on the third floor. By the time the smoke reached it and sounded an alarm, the house was already in flames. Two young girls and four adults on the first floor were saved. The girls' feet were burned. They were rescued by their 11-year-old brother, but there were still people on the second floor. I was screaming to the firefighters, there's people upstairs. Firefighters fought to rescue the trapped women and children. Emergency teams tried to save the victims. The smoke and fire moved too fast. Not everyone got the early warning of the fire because there was only one smoke detector. All areas of sleeping quarters should have smoke detectors, so this house should have had one on each floor at least. A grandmother and her daughter died. So did two grandchildren, Chris and David. The fast-moving fire destroyed the house and many lives. But sometimes, even with warnings from smoke detectors, people waste time trying to fight a fire themselves. They don't realize how fast a fire can grow. And before they know it, they're in trouble. There's nothing in your house more valuable than getting out. Leave everything behind, iPods, PlayStation games, DVDs, leave all that stuff behind. We can replace it. We can't replace you. It's true. Kids and matches don't mix. Tonight in bed Brooklyn, a fast-moving fire, one that has now taken the lives of two little children. Mistakes that could have been avoided. A little girl playing with matches starts a fire. Her grandmother tries to put it out, but the fire spreads, rages out of control, and costs the grandmother her life. The little girl who set the fire playing with matches was saved. Never play with matches, lighters, or candles. Never try to fight a fire yourself. Get out quickly and call 911 for help. One of the misconceptions is that people can put fires out themselves, and when they try to do it, they waste time, fire moves fast, and there's not much you can do once it accelerates to a certain point. It is most important, if you discover a fire in your house, is to get out. If you've practiced your fire drills and stuff, you'll have a meeting place, you'll all be there, then we can call 911. When a candle accidentally started this fire, the boy who lived here tried to put it out. I just got up and I took a pillow and tried to beat it out. 
but it had caught onto the other sheet, so it's unstoppable. He was lucky. The fast exploding blaze almost killed him. Never play with candles or try to fight a fire yourself. Get out fast and call 911 for help. The people in this home made another serious mistake. They left doors wide open, and that allowed the smoke and fire to spread even faster. The main thing is to close your doors. It'll keep the fire confined to the room of origin and help us when we get there. Doors were also left open in this building when people panicked after a bed caught fire. They ran out, leaving bedroom and apartment doors wide open, and that allowed the fire to race out into the hallway, trapping other residents. Luckily, firefighters saved everyone, and no one was hurt. Remember, a closed door is a tool that can keep heat, flames, and smoke back and give people a chance to escape. Listen. A fire breaks out on the first floor of a two-family house. Door. The woman quickly leaves to call the fire department. Door. And two people die upstairs overcome by smoke door a man smoking in bed starts a fire the door leaves the bedroom rushes to a phone the door and before the fire department gets there the door the rest of his house burns down the door is there one single act that could have been done close the door to help prevent this needless loss of life and property close the door what should these people have done close the door do you know that a door is one of the best pieces of firefighting and life-saving equipment. Close the door. And if you leave a room that is on fire, close the door. If you simply close the door, close the door. It will help stop the fire and smoke from spreading too quickly. Close the door. When fire raced through this burned-out apartment, it was a closed door that saved the woman who lived here. She knew what to do. I just knew. It was just, it penetrated my mind from what I heard on the TV. Close the door. She knew what to do, and it saved her. Knowing what to do can save you and your family. You know that fire is fast, and you have to move faster to get out. Don't waste any time. Get low and go. Smoke turns rooms black. But don't panic. Try to stay calm. The important thing is to get out quickly. And once out, never go back into a burning building. Never hide when there is a fire. If you can't get out, close the door and get to a window. Make noise to let the firefighters know where you are. I'm Allison Field. For my brother Storm Field and my dad, Dr. Frank Field, thanks for watching. And remember, fire is fast, but you can be faster if you know what to do.